<laughs> Hi there! You must be visiting from Lira to participate in the Iridori Festival. We'll be your guides and we'll take you on to the island! Huh? Is it Paimon or have we met somewhere before? Oh yeah, he looks familiar. <laughs> yes, in fact we have. I'm Shu from Feiyun Commerce Guild. Aboard this ship we have calligraphers, painters, and even players of Theater Mechanicus. You're barely here. Hello, Griffin Burns. The inventor of Theater Mechanicus previously came to the Feiyun Commerce Guild seeking investment. Although the guild manager was not interested, Master still wanted to support them. Oh, and I won't be recording Theater Mechanicus either. I'll just be recording the, like, the main story quest and everything. We heard that they'd be demonstrating the game and letting people try Theater Mechanicus at the Iridori Festival. So the guild manager instructed Master and I to take the opportunity to come to Inazuma and investigate the product's potential. Oh, speaking of which, where's the young Master? Ah, well, uh, Master, he's, uh... Uh, what? Whoa! Singcho's just sitting there! Sound asleep! <laughs> he must be tired. Uh, what? Oh. Uh, it's the Traveler in Paimon. I presume you are guests in Inazuma as well? It seems fate has destined our paths to cross once again. Oh, we aren't actually guests. We're actually guides for the Iridori Festival. Shincho, how are you doing? Oh, please, no need to worry. I was a little too caught up in a novel on the voyage here. <laughs> when I finally realized what time it was, the first rays of dawn were already peeking over the horizon. I know the feeling, man. <laughs> the feeling! Oh, it's all too familiar to me. Uh, yes, now that we've arrived, the Kanjo Commission will likely wish to inspect our invitation letter. Let's keep it in hand, shall we? Yeah, I'm like a certain somebody. That's odd. What's wrong? There was a piece of paper underneath my bag. Strange. I don't recall seeing it there before. Hmm. Ooh, let Paimon have a look! The Five Ka Sin Splendor, Aoi no Okina. Glorious court life was my youth, and my old age a moonlit haze. I had not wished to behave so treacherously, but my very life was threatened. So I sought out my old work and hid them on in my clothes. I do not understand the reason behind all that has happened, only that the mysterious person's motive must be perverse. This poem was dedicated to Akihito, who, to my great sorrow, was banished. Oh, there's no doubt about it. It's from the same series as the story we found before. Even the handwriting looks exactly the same. A clue, a clue. Oh my goodness, it's another part of the thing. The story you found before? Ahem. Uh, by the... the poem hunt competition! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it! A friend of ours is on retail to paint portraits of the five Kasen. You know, as part of the Iridori Festival. Poetic stories about the five Kasen have been hidden in various places nearby. But it makes no sense. If it was under his bag, how did it get there? <laughs> if you can find one of the stories and give it to this friend of ours, then there's a chance you'll become the model for the next portrait! Nice cover-up story, Paimon. Wait a moment. So you mean that... Paimon, you're so terrible at making up stories! Uh, hey! It's hard coming up with stuff on the spot like that! Duh. There's a chance of meeting Calx in person? Oh, right! Isn't Calx... or Calx... Albedo like the illustrator for um, Shincho's novels? Say that. Really? That's wonderful! I knew that Calx would attend the Irodori Festival, but convincing my father to let me come to Inazuma was proving to be quite the high hurdle. I had to really rack my mind to come up with the excuse of evaluating the investment value of Theater Mechanicus. <laughs> ah, Shincho, man. Just a few days later, word then came that Calx would be busy painting portraits of the five Kasen during the festival. It is a most rare opportunity for both Calx and I to be in Inazuma together, but it seemed he would be too busy with the portraits to meet with me. 
So, I felt quite disappointed for some time now. Don't worry, Shincho. Even though Calx has work to do, he still has time to see friends. We can take you to see him right now. Yeah, let's do that. Also, we heard that Calx did illustrations for your A Legend of Sword novel. Mm -hmm. huh. So you've already heard. To be honest, my works have drawn little interest in Liyue. However, the novels are selling quite well in Inazuma with the help of Calx's beautiful illustrations. Oh? Calx is not only a skilled artist, but he also carries out his craft with great alacrity. I heard that it took him merely a few hours to finish the illustrations for the latest chapter. K but when I looked at the art, the brushwork did not even look the slightest bit rushed. His work is truly exquisite. Oh, that's all Beto for you. Oh my, I was beginning to get carried away there. Let us depart, quickly now. He's, <laughs> he's so excited. Luckily, the idea of leaving Albedo managed to draw Shincho's attention and keep the situation under wraps. Let's just hope we don't let anything slip while meeting Albedo. Yeah. Let's not. Okie dokie. Oh. <gasps> Albedo! Traveler, Paimon. How are you? And who is this accompanying you? You must be Calx. It's a great pleasure to finally meet you. I am the author of A Legend of Sword, Gen... Uh, forgive me. It's rude of me to introduce myself by my pen name when meeting in person. Please, call me Xingcho. <laughs> and you may call me Albedo, then. Man. No, no. That would be most improper. It's only fair, dude! Why not? Seeing as we're both friends of the Traveler, it'd be more convenient for us to use our real names. Besides, we've already corresponded with each other many times before. In fact, I feel a bit self-conscious seeing you act so politely. <laughs> well, he is an heir to a family guild, so... <laughs> It's not just you, Albedo. We haven't seen Chincho act this awkward before either. It's a real eye opener, that's for sure. Uh um, you guys, it's certainly not good taste for you two to be teasing me like that. Says the one who's always teasing Ching Chung Yun. Oh, by the way, we happened to find a story from the poem hunt competition at the docks. I heard that you are collecting them. Hmm? Poem hunt? Albedo, run with that, please. Uh, you where we have to find pieces of paper with stories of the five cousin? Uh, Venti found one, and then he was allowed to be a model for one of your portraits! <laughs> huh? Oh, yes, that's right. Yeah, we don't want to let it slip yet. Oh, I understand the story now. Thank you, it's very helpful. Splendid! Though... I'm still piecing together the story myself. Would you kindly explain it to me in more detail? If all of you are free, well, why don't we discuss this over a meal? Mm. Uh, well, about that. What? Do you have other plans, Shincho? Uh, no, no, not at all. Speaking of dining, Shimura's unagi chaskia is quite delicious. Would you like to go there? Shimura's. Sure. Uh, unfortunately, today is a bit windy. Uh, how about Uyu Restaurant instead? Oh, we're going into town. <laughs> That's perfectly fine with me. But I must first unpack my luggage. Let's meet later at Uyu Restaurant. Hmm. Something didn't quite add up just now. Yeah, I got the feeling too. supposed to? I don't think that's it. I think there's something up with Shincho. Uh, no, Paimon, I'm not referring to us. Traveler, what are your thoughts? Shincho was a little suspicious. Huh? Shincho's suspicious? Hey, what are you two talking about? Paimon, you read the poem, right? Although it may seem confusing to Shincho on its own, what if we read it together with a previous poem we found? Okay. Read them together? Hmm, let's see. Suiko lost Aoi no Okina's poem in a drunken stupor. So, 
Aoi no Okina recovered the poem and gave it to some mysterious person. Thank goodness, I thought I was gonna have to go back and read both of them. <laughs> huh? Wait a minute. Could today's story be hinting that the one who stole the latest copies of A Legend of Sword is Shincho himself? I don't think so. I think it might be somebody under him. No way! That can't be right! Shincho only arrived in Inazuma this morning! Yeah. And that is precisely the point of suspicion. If Shincho had only just arrived in Inazuma, how could he recommend Shimura's Chazuke? Alright, like I said, I think he sent someone ahead to, you know, scope out the area. Moreover, he didn't raise any questions when I suggested another place because of the windy weather. This means he knows that Shimura's is an open-air restaurant. Yeah. Hmm. Are you saying that Shincho has already been in Inazuma for some time? And that he's only pretending he just arrived? If we're gonna do this, this is... Oh, my brain hurts. <laughs> oh, man. Yes, that is indeed my conclusion. But how could Shincho be the book thief? His mission is to fight for justice, isn't it? There's no way he'd do something against his own ideals. True, so why would he take him? <sighs> Sorry, I'm a little sleepy. Uh, calm down, Paimon. Even though this is the first time I've met Shinksho in person, we've communicated via letters for some time now. I do have some understanding of his character. Oh? I think there must be some deeper motive at play here. The story also tells us that Aoi no Okina flees with a poem because of a threat. Oh, is he being threatened? Oh? Could Shinksho be in danger? It's difficult to say at this point. But, given that we your restaurant is indoors, it'll be easy for us to detect anyone following or eavesdropping on us. I think it should be safe for us to talk there. Okay. I'll be relying on your assistance to get to the bottom of this matter. Got it. Good. Then let's head to Uyu restaurant. Alright, we're going into town. <laughs> see anyone suspicious around it seems clear for the moment let's go inside and wait for Shinksho. okay oh, this whole thing's starting to make Paimon a little nervous what do we do and what do we talk about when Shinksho gets here first we must ascertain whether Shinksho was already in Inazuma or not if we can find evidence of him deceiving us then we can use it as leverage to persuade him to tell us the truth mm. since we're still waiting for him why don't you go and chat with other guests in the restaurant and see if you can learn anything useful? Okay. We're doing errands again, I guess. Okay. Whoa. Um, let's start upstairs. Sorry! Dun 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 Okay, nobody's upstairs. That means everybody's down here. Okay, let's, uh... Let's start with Yota. The last phase of the Iridori Festival is when they release the all-new publications. The one I'm really looking forward to is A Legend of Sword. That's right. A signed first edition is going to become quite the collectible. I've got to get my hands on a copy. Mm. I've seen Gen Yu's signature before. His handwriting is super neat. He must be really diligent about his style. He'll be there in person on the day of the release, so we'll get a good look at him then. I hear that he's actually pretty young. Wait a minute, did you just hear that? Not only will Shincho be signing novels at the release, but his handwriting is super neat? Yeah, that's a little fishy. Alright, let's go talk to Mr... Uh, yeah, Rikoto. Ozaki. Ozaki Rikoto. Hello there, what can I get for you? Hi, do you have any special recommendations today? Why, of course. I personally recommend our freshly caught seafood. It's been pouring these past few days, so the fishing boats haven't been able to sail at all. But the weather finally cleared up today, so we have some fresh catch. Yay! So the weather at sea has been bad these past few days? It sure has. A few guests from Liyue were just telling me that their boat was heaving and rolling all the way here. They couldn't do anything but sleep the entire trip. Mm. Oh, 
This might be some useful information. Oh. Okay, now we go talk to Albedo. Albedo, what should we talk about when Shincho gets here? Any ideas? Hmm. I will try to break the ice by talking about our work on novels and illustrations. If he really is hiding something, then he might feel even more nervous than we do. If we start by talking about our work creating novels, perhaps he will lower his guard. Mm. Oh, come to think of it, Shincho mentioned that he'd like to thank you for finishing the illustrations on time. He said they looked amazing despite the time you had. Mm. Is that so? Hmm. That is also a very valuable clue. Detective Albedo is on the case. <laughs> No! Oh, wow! <laughs> mm, that was delicious! Inazuman cuisine largely consists of fresh seafood, which is certainly to my liking. Mm. <laughs> That's good! We were worried you might not have an appetite because you didn't sleep well. Now's our chance. Let's talk to Shincho and see if he says anything useful. Maybe we could start by asking him about the journey. Right. Oh, uh, let's see. Talk about his thoughts regarding the journey. Well, I've never embarked on such a long journey before. Though I was quite excited when we set off, the long days at sea quickly became most monotonous. Oh. Speaking of the journey, did anything noteworthy happen along the way? <sighs> oh man, I'm tired today. Well, to be honest, I spent most of the trip with my nose in a novel. <laughs> well, that didn't tell us much. Uh, we'll talk about the book, then. By the way, Shinjo, what book were you reading on the way here? Oh, I was reading a novel called Pretty Please Kitsune Guji. It was sent to me by my editor. Oh my goodness, that just... Ah! Uh... <laughs> Didn't you feel dizzy while reading on the ship? <laughs> it was nothing I couldn't handle. Don't forget, I'm proficient in the arts of the Guhua clan. That being said... There were quite a few people aboard who felt seasick. Mm. Well, there doesn't seem to be anything suspicious about what he said so far. Maybe it's the last option then. Talk about the scenery. To be honest, there wasn't much to see. Just water all around, morning to night. The sheer monotony of the trip caused everyone to grow a little impatient. Hang on, didn't the store owner, the restaurant owner say that it was stormy all the time? So... When the peak of Mount Yogo finally appeared in the distance as we approached the islands of Inazuma, everyone crowded the deck to have a look. However, the ship sailed along at a crawling pace. It took a whole day from the time we saw the mountain peak to the time we docked. Paimon didn't catch anything suspicious so far. No, there was something really suspicious. Oh, right! If it took an entire day to reach the docks, then it would have been pouring rain at the time they saw the top of the mountain. We learned a couple of things from his account, but we still require more evidence. Let's discuss creating novels with Xingqiu. Mm, talk about Xingqiu's own novel. While it is entertaining to read novels, writing one is an endeavor of its own. You must give great thought to every detail, from the layout of the plot to the rhythm of the lines. I hear you. And even when you have come up with interesting content, there's still no guarantee that it will be to your liking. <sighs> Sorry, man. Sorry, y'all. I'm just really tired today. I couldn't agree more. Whether it's writing a book, creating art, or studying alchemy, seldom can you really feel joy after seriously delving into the work. Shincho and Albedo are getting into some deep topics now. But nothing suspicious has come up. Let's talk about Albedo's illustrations, then. Speaking of illustrations, Albedo... I've long wished to express my sincerest gratitude for providing the illustrations in my novel. My novel didn't sell well in Liyue, so I must admit that I had some reservations regarding its potential. Yet you've consistently managed to select the most important scene of the chapter for your illustrations. This made me feel as though what I was trying to express could be understood after all. Uh, thank you. However, I took some risks in the illustrations, so... I'm feeling slightly uneasy myself. Risks? Light novel illustrations are typically centered around the characters. But this time, 
I adopted a different approach in the illustration for the last chapter. Oh. Well, that scene was intended to depict the change in the world, so I thought it very fitting to draw only scenery. Oh. Hmm. Doesn't sound like anything suspicious has come up so far. No, there was a crack in his alibi. My illustrations were sent for printing the moment they arrived in Inazuma. So, logically speaking, there's no way he could possibly know what the illustrations look like. Yeah. Oh, uh, here we go. Shincho, we have something very important to ask you now. Oh? Why the solemn looks all of a sudden? Shincho, what's with the facade? Huh? I'm afraid I don't follow. Mr. Okazaki told us earlier that actually the weather at sea was very bad these last few days. So when you said that everyone came running to the deck to see Mount Yogo, that couldn't have happened! Oh, here we go. On top of that, the latest installment of A Legend of Sword will only be revealed at the Irodori Festival. Even we, the creators, haven't received a sample copy. And that's the case, how could you know what my illustrations look like? Uh, uh, well... Dun dun dun! The jig's up, Shincho. You were already in Inazuma before today, weren't you? Are you in some kind of danger but can't tell us the truth? Don't worry, the Traveler and Albedo are no pushovers. We can help you. Why aren't you in that statement, Paimon? No, no, please. You misunderstand me. Oh. I suppose my lack of sleep is inevitably taking its toll on my mind. I didn't notice for a moment that you were testing me at all. I did, in fact, come to Inazuma early to handle some things. Let me consider how to explain this. Oh, this is most embarrassing. <laughs> what happened? Oh, well, if this isn't a coincidence, I didn't expect to see everyone here. Hi, Venti. Huh? Tone deaf bard, what are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> I heard that the owner of this establishment has some fine aged wines. I didn't want to miss the opportunity to taste them. Of course. Hmm. I knew you couldn't possibly be up to anything good. Says who? In fact, I come as the bearer of good tidings. Oh? How so? What do you- what news can you <laughs> tell us? I just bumped into Kujo Sara a moment ago. She said that the Tenryo Commission has apprehended the criminal who stole all those copies of A Legend of Sword. You needn't worry about it any longer. Oh, thank goodness. Huh? The criminal who stole A Legend of Sword? <laughs> yeah, that's right, you didn't know! Uh, did I say something I shouldn't have? Venti! <laughs> oh no, the person they apprehended. Was it by chance an editor named Onodera? Oh, so you did know who it was. Apologies, Kujo Sara didn't mention a name. But I saw her taking someone toward Hanamizaka. Uh -oh. Everyone, it's too late to explain. We must make haste and rescue Onodera! Why? What happened? Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Shincho, you better clear this up. Please, wait. Onodera is innocent. Okay, well, let's see what happened. Oh, so you must be the author of A Legend of Sword. I didn't expect to see others tagging along with you. Anyway, you mustn't take him away. I can explain everything. Please do. No need to worry, Zhenyu. I've just explained everything to Madame Kujo, and Kuroda has testified for me. Yes. In fact, we were just getting ready to leave. Oh, phew. What a relief. Hmm. Wait a minute. Does everyone else here already know? No, what? What are you hiding? Quit teasing me already. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> what is it? <clears throat> well, to be precise, we had dispatched two additional squads here. In order to prevent the suspect from escaping. Uh. Shincho looks pretty flustered. What exactly is going on here? I bet it has something to do with his signature. Uh, oh. Ahem. Though it's most embarrassing, it appears quite a few people are aware of the situation now. There's no use keeping it a secret. What, is your handwriting actually bad? In the end, I'm the one responsible for this whole predicament. No, Jen Yu. It's only appropriate that I take responsibility for this. Everyone, please let me explain. Please, somebody explain! I'm so confused! <laughs> for the Iridori Festival, 
I recommended the idea of selling newly released novels signed by the authors. Not only was this the first major project I was in charge of since joining the Yai Publishing House, but Lady Yai also gave me a lot of support. However, I did not discuss our plans with the authors in advance. As a result, it caused a great deal of trouble for Gen Yu. Yes, to be frank, calligraphy is not my strong point, so signing events are really not my forte. Ah. Uh... Even though such an event will be difficult for Gen Yu, after telling him how important the plans were to me, he immediately boarded a ship to Inazuma to come up with a solution. So these past few days, Gen Yu has been actively practicing his handwriting. However, it takes time to sign each book, and we realized the time we reserved for the signing was not nearly enough. Oh. So I came up with the idea of moving the new books from the warehouse to my place. That way, Gen Yu could use these few days to sign them all. I thought everything would work out without a hitch. I never expected that someone would immediately realize that the books were missing from the warehouse. No, nope. Mystery solved, I guess. To make things worse, I was on vacation and staying with Gen Yu in my house these past few days. I had no idea that the situation had turned into such a huge mess. <sighs> All of this happened because I wanted to prove myself through this event. Onodera, I agreed to your proposal because I didn't want the readers to know of my unsightly handwriting. I see. I see. I get it. It's it's especially if it's calligraphy. Uh, not like the westernized calligraphy, but the what is it? The ink and brush calligraphy. If you don't know what I mean, look it up. <laughs> also, I knew that Onodera had been misled by one of my prior signatures. Misled? At a previous event, the Yai Publishing House had requested autographs of authors so that they could be put on display. I practiced tirelessly for an entire day to finally deliver a stylish and elegant signature for the event. But, looking back on it now, I had dug myself into a hole by delivering that nice signature for the sake of my pride. So basically, the Iridori Festival, well this one, is more like a... convention? The best way I could describe it is like an anime convention, where they have like books and posters and author signings and all that stuff you know because they're they're certainly merchandise too but it's it's centered around the 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 novels the light novels and the uh poets the bards and stuff and them hey come on you two loosen up a little the theft was nothing more than a simple misunderstanding besides Everyone has something they do not wish others to see. Yeah, what's yours, Venti? Yeah, that's right. All that matters is that Shincho and his books are okay. Onodera, I think you should explain the truth regarding the stolen books to the rest of the people on Rito. Yeah, that seems fair. Yes, I understand. I'll apologize to everyone. We should probably be heading back to Rito as well. Let's tag along. <laughs> Onodera, what are you doing here? Aren't you supposed to be on leave these few days? Mm. I was trying to... I'm very sorry for all the trouble that I've caused. I was trying to figure out that voice of... of... of that guy in the, um, white kimono. This guy. Yes, Onodera, but... But... Why didn't you tell everyone earlier? If you had told us, we could have thought of some ways to help you. Why does he sound familiar? That's right. We're a team, and we should be helping each other in tough situations like this. Let's leave the past behind us now. Our first priority is to help Gen Yu with his signatures. How is your progress so far? My progress is not what I had hoped for. Even after working through the night these past few days, <laughs> I've only finished perhaps one-tenth of the signatures. Oh, no wonder Shincho looked so sleepy today. Oh, he's probably stayed up all night then, just, just signing away. I understand. Murata, go back to the Ai Publishing House and get Aratani to book a room on the second floor of the Uyu restaurant. We'll be using it for Gen Yu's emergency calligraphy lessons. Oh. Yes, Mr. Hiriyama. It just so happens that my brother is a calligrapher. Should I ask him to lend his assistance as well? Yes, good idea. Ah, you've just reminded me. 
two calligraphers from Liyue arrived today. We've worked with them before, so I'll go and ask them to help out too. Yay. It seems I'm really in for it now. <laughs> That's what happens when you put off your studies. No need to worry, Zhenyu. I'm sure you can do it. Didn't you finish the last chapter of your novel in just one week's time? Wow. Yes, but writing novels and learning calligraphy are two entirely different skills. Even though Singcho still has to deal with his handwriting issue, Paimon somehow feels a little relieved now. <laughs> I always used to prefer working alone in my workshop, but I've come to realize that solving problems with others also has its merits. Yep. We also owe a special ode of gratitude to the mysterious person who has been leaving important info for us along the way. Mm -hmm. Huh? You mean whoever left behind those stories about the five Kassen? Uh, Paimon, did you just let that slip? Pardon me, but what are you talking about? Oh, right. We haven't had a chance to explain things to Shinkyo yet. Mm-hmm. I wonder if it's like, Sarah or Yai. I see. It appears that Onodera and I were spotted when we were moving the books. Mm. Albedo, may I ask you one thing? Are you able to include me in a portrait as well? <laughs> Not only do I owe the successful resolution of today's incident to that story, but I also hope that I'll remember this lesson. Hmm, good idea. No problem. Considering the similarities between the portraits and the events that have taken place, your proposal is very reasonable. Ow. That figure was none other than Aoi no Okina himself. This turn of events had begun with an unnamed individual, under whose coercion Aoi no Okina was forced to take drastic measures to retrieve a page of poetry. He knew nothing of this individual's true intentions. All he knew was that the poem had to do with an old acquaintance, Akahito. Oh. These cutscenes are getting interesting. Albedo really is something. He finished the portrait of Aoi no Okina in no time at all. Yeah. Wonder how Shincho's calligraphy training is going at Uyu Restaurant. Hey, do you think whoever left those stories for us could be hiding somewhere nearby? It's a possibility. Oh, hello? Mr. Story Writer? <laughs> Are you here? Uh, can you please help Shincho with something? He's a friend of ours and the release of his new book is super important to him. Oh, there's a cat. What's that sound? It's just a cat. <laughs> it was just a cat. Looks like we can't make them reveal themselves that easily. Obviously. It's getting late now. But let's go back and get some rest. We still have to go to the docks and wait for another ship tomorrow morning. Oh. Who's this? I don't recognize the outfit. I wonder if it's just somebody, just some N NPC or something. Because I don't recognize this. Oh, who is it? I'm pretty sure it's just an NPC. <laughs> Alright. Oh, Theater Mechanicus. Yes! We have it unlocked now. Okay, I'm gonna do that off screen. Off, yeah, off screen. Let us do part two of the Iridori antidote. But first, a little pool. Just a quick pool, please. Nothing. I mean, as much as I, I only have ten days. No, what is my pity? Nowhere near pity. Surely enough to convince anyone to become a wanderer. All right, we're gonna go. We're gonna go talk to Kimura. Kimura. Hello there. Mm, festivals always attract so many people. So many complaints. What should I do? 
Need any help? Ah, are you the traveler who my superior said would come and help us out? You came at the perfect time. We're facing a small problem here. As you know, the Iridori Festival is underway. Yes. In addition to all the things on sale, there's a lot of free entertainment programs available. But today, we received numerous complaints that a group of people have been hogging the Tanuki photo board. Uh-oh. They won't leave so no one else gets to use it. Please tell me it's not Edo. <sighs> what a headache. Uh, can't you arrest them? Uh, arrest them? <laughs> well, it would solve the immediate problem. But? But don't you think that if the Tenryo Commission starts arresting people without good cause, we'll soon have a bigger problem on our hands? Thing. The first thing we tried was negotiating with them, but ultimately these facilities are open to everyone, and there's no time limit on usage. Mm. This means that as long as they haven't done anything technically illegal, even if they keep hogging it, there is nothing we can do. Oh, that sucks. So, can you... Try negotiating with them for us. Sure. If these complaints can't be resolved and Madame Cujo finds out... Oh, you, she's gonna have your head. <laughs> I'll lose my bonus this month for sure. <laughs> Hugging a photo board, huh? <sighs> we know who would do something like that. Ito? Should we go and have a look? Please be Ito. <sighs> Thank you so much. You'll find them by the Tanuki photo board just east of the square. Okay. That's this way, okay. Look! Well, if it isn't our Taki Ito and his gang. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I knew it was gonna be them. Let's go and see what all this is about. Dude, you're so childish. Come on. <laughs> Hey, hey, Traveler, Paimon, what's happening? What's up? <laughs> My favorite guy is here. Oh, man. Oh, you came here for the Iridori Festival, too? Oh, see, I knew it. Great minds think alike, huh? Good. What are you doing hogging the board, though? <laughs> oh, you're such a child. <laughs> Okay. We're here to take care of a little problem. Yeah. Known as you. <laughs> yo, yo, right. Yeah, well, who's got a problem? The Arataki gang considers it our born duty to help those in need. Who do you think? You're the problem. Wait, huh? <laughs> You're hogging the board, dude. The Arataki gang is the problem. The Terrio Commission said you guys have been hogging the photo board and nobody has had a chance to use it. Yeah. Oh, uh, well, no, we haven't. They received quite a few complaints. Would you care to explain? Uh, it's kind of a long story. Uh, hey, Mamoru, you're up. Explain the situation to these good people. Ah! <laughs> Did he just click his tongue? Hang on. Max Middleton, you're a genius, <laughs> bringing him to life. I love you for doing this. Yes, boss. The story starts two months ago, oh, when we first found out about the Iridori Festival. Oh my goodness. How long is this going to take? As everyone knows, <laughs> this is a festival all about showcasing culture, with books on all kinds of topics on display and for sale. Please tell me you're not going to want to do a sumo wrestling match because that's just, mm, that sounds like up your alley, but like, come on, dude. Our boss is very forward thinking. He thought we should seize this golden opportunity to publish some material introducing the Arataki gang and help craft a glorious public image. Y'all are just the... <laughs> I can't with these guys. He also said we can make some money out of it to support ourselves. Uh, okay. <clears throat> uh, well, that wasn't the main reason, obviously. Uh, uh, well, you just got caught, dude. <laughs> of course that was your main reason. <laughs> At first, we had plenty of time. In two months, Foss planned to write 60 pages. Oh. Bro. Bro. 
That's like two pages of... Wait, is it two pages? No. Two months. 60 pages. That's a page a day! At least! But one month in, and he'd written a grand total of one line. Obviously, Mr. Procrastinator at this finest. Well, I mean, come on. You gotta make sure the quality is up to scratch. Dude. <laughs> Procrastinator ever. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> I think my phone's listening to me. So we cut some of the planned content and figured it would still be fine if we could put out 20 pages in the next month. See, that's more logical. You know, my. But... Mm. The day after that, the boss got a hold of this card game called Genius Invocation TCG. Everyone loved it! Okay, what is that? It felt like we only played a few rounds, but before we knew it, half a month had gone by. I'm telling you, this game, it's pretty incredible. <sighs> Why? I was just gathering inspiration for my writing. What? G Dude! Don't- don't play it off like that! Sure you were! Inspiration that has absolutely nothing to do with what you were writing about! Yeah, what were you writing about anyways? So, then we only had two weeks left. No way was that gonna be enough time to publish a book. Boss said we should just make a colorful flyer instead. That way, we'd only need to think of a slogan. Y'all should've thought of that from the beginning. That makes more sense. It shouldn't take too long to think of a slogan, right? <laughs> Let me guess, you haven't you haven't come up with anything, have you? Yeah, it didn't take long at all. We came up with 30 slogans between us in just half a day. Oh my goodness. Yo, where is your 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 right hand, dude? But 30 was too many, and we couldn't agree with each other on which one to use. It took us a week to make the final decision. That was when we realized we'd have to pay an expensive express fee for the printing, because there was so little time left. Oh, duh. And we couldn't afford it! Obviously. You gotta take it slow if you want to do something well. Pay an express fee and they're gonna do a rush job, and <laughs> then there's gonna be all sorts of problems. Mm. Okay. The Arataki Gang only puts out the very best into the world. And that is why I decided to give up on that project. Sure. Whatever makes you happy. That, yep. Well said. You gotta do what keeps you happy. Same goes for humans and only alike. <laughs> I love this man. <laughs> it's not every day that you get to go to an Iridori festival, right? So priority number one right now is enjoying ourselves to the mo 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 max Oh my god, you did not! <laughs> Oh my goodness! Why? <laughs> and the way you chose to enjoy yourselves was to commandeer a novelty photo board? Right? Really? Did you have to? You can go enjoy the rest of the festival, man. Um, so, at first, Boss brought us here to buy some drinks. He said there was some sort of Iridori Festival limited edition soft drink available. Oh. Speed of which, I still gotta go look for that. That's right. This ain't no ordinary drink either. It's a special edition joint creation of Sailing Breeze and Yai Publishing House, as featured in the popular novel Pretty Please Kitsune Guji. Why was that cute? Oh my goodness, the eyes too. <laughs> what is it with the title though? Uh, what? <laughs> But when we got to the festival, the staff wouldn't let us in because of our unusual outfits. They're wearing clothes. What do you mean? Just be happy that they're coming by. They're giving you service. Like, what? They said we had to show up looking like our normal selves before they'd let us in. That is stupid, man. We'd invested a lot of time and money into the way we looked. And then they accused us of spoiling the image of the city. One thing led to another, and by the time we finally got to Sailing Breeze's booth, 
All the drinks were sold out. Let me guess. I guess we're going to submerge the uh, Let me guess. We're going to have to go get those drinks, huh? We were pretty disappointed. But there was nothing we could do. Then we saw this photo board on the way back. Boss said we can't let the trip go to waste, so... So you decided to take over the whole area for your own use? Yeah. What's up with that? <laughs> I beg to differ. It's public property. We didn't commandeer anything. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, man. We're just making sure public resources get used to the max. So hogging it is what's making... Your logic is so... <laughs> Where's Shinobu, dude? Yeah, boss is right. We're the ones making the most out of this thing. Oh, how so? Never let a single moment in your life go to waste. That's our policy in the Arataki gang, and we're out here making sure this photo board gets the most out of its lifespan, too. Oh, brother, what a noble cause. You could also go buy some books. But we spent so much money on our appearance. We only had enough left for one of those drinks. Okay. okay. We don't have anywhere near enough to buy books. Uh, go get a job then. But you can't just take over this photo board for yourself because it's free and you don't have any money. Other people have the right to use it too. Yo, make yourself useful and like, take pictures for people then. I guess when you put it like that, I can kind of see where you're coming from. Mm -hmm. So come on, let someone else have their turn already. I love this. It's, you got Paimon, who's like maybe not even a third of Ito's side size, and she's over here scolding him. <laughs> um, um. Mm hmm. Um. What? But you know full well that the Arataki gang has a reputation to uphold. Y'all are not threatening. <laughs> if I say I'm going to make the most out of this board, then I have to live up to my words. Uh-huh, and how are you going to do that? If we just scrap our plan like that, we'd be going against our word. A gang's got to have integrity, or it does huge damage to your prestige. Dude, you said you were going to do a book two months ago, and you, like, procrastinated the entire time. And then the flyer thing just didn't happen because y'all didn't have the money. Like, what? <clears throat> that being said, we won't have to worry about any of that if we can settle this the Arataki way. What? I'm gonna have to go buy you a drink? The Arataki way, huh? Paimon has a bad feeling about this. Me too. So I, Arataki numero uno Ito, challenge you to an all out, no holds barred, anything goes duel. You're gonna lose, buddy. I hope you know that. <laughs> if you win, I will leave this board alone. Wait, do you mean a beetle fight? <laughs> sure, let's have a beetle fight. Great, let's have a beetle oh, fight. Beetle fighting is an awesome idea. Just so happens I caught myself a true beast of an Oni Kabuto the other day. I call it Demon of Darkness. <laughs> okay. Unfortunately, I didn't bring Demon of Darkness with me today, so... Uh, uh, you're gonna go out to go find one. <sighs> well, that's a relief. So, how are we gonna do this duel? Uh, let's think. Um, yeah, ugh, wow, this is a, this is a tough nut to crack. <laughs> Let me think for a second. Um... <laughs> Be careful there, big guy. <laughs> you don't want to blow a gasket. <laughs> He's here for the festival too. Toma, hi! <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Why don't we ask Toma how to do this duel? Paimon bets he'll have tons of ideas. Mm. Toma! Toma! Over here! Yeah, I'm over here. Hey, Traveler and Paimon. Where'd he go? Oh. <laughs> I thought he was coming over here. What? Dude, what happened? What a nice surprise meeting you guys here. Nice to see you too. What brings you here? <sighs> well, I heard that a certain well known individual had made an appearance at the festival and taken quite a liking to the Tanuki photo board. 
Ah. <laughs> Since the Yashiro Commission is the host of this festival, I felt I simply had to come and meet them in person. Mm, here, here we go. Hmm. Red horns. If I'm not mistaken, you must be the esteemed Arataki Ito, leader of the widely renowned Arataki gang. Is that right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Toma, my bro, your eyes do not deceive you. <laughs> and you are the housekeeper extraordinaire of the Kamisato clan. You're quite the celebrity yourself, you know. Mm-hmm. Mr. Toma. Well, I'm flattered, Ito. And it's nice to meet you, too, um, bro. <laughs> I was drinking water, I almost spit it out. Don't ever say that again. <laughs> oh, there's a serious romance developing here. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. The Genji community is gonna have a field day with this. I didn't expect to run into both Ito and the Traveler here. Why not? It's a festival. Speaking of which, I kind of count as the host here. So is anything wrong? Don't worry, you can tell me anything. Yeah, um, we need a little uh, third party here to help us decide on how to handle this little battle that Ito has so graciously offered to uh, do in exchange for giving up the board. It's all Ito! He wants to- Uh, no, 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 it's no, no, it's no big deal. We were just about to have a duel and uh, we're trying to think of what format it should take. Is Ito terrified of Toma? Huh? Oh, a duel. In that case, I have a suggestion. Since your duel is taking place at the Iridori Festival, why don't you have a volunteering competition? Volunteering? Uh, how? Explain? Then you can both do your part for the Iridori Festival while settling your duel at the same time. What do you think? Hmm. Volunteering competition? I, uh, sounds a little low-key. Not quite hardcore enough for the Arataki gang. Boy! <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. I give this idea an interest rating of uh, two points. One for the Traveler, one for Toma. Uh, rude. Boss means, uh, two points out of a hundred. Uh, rude! <laughs> Yeah, this job isn't the most high stakes, that's for sure. It just takes a little patience and responsibility. Yeah, but what, what's the what's the what's the volunteering thing? That's that's what I want to know because like you haven't explained anything. You just said volunteering competition to help out with the festival. Heh. <laughs> also, since it's volunteering, by definition, there's no remuneration. All you'll get is this special edition drink from Sailing Breeze as a small token of appreciation. Well, he's gonna change his mind now. On second thought, this is nowhere near enough for the prestigious Arataki gang. I don't know what I was thinking. Wait, 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 wait a sec. What was that part about the, uh, token of appreciation? <laughs> I, like I said, that's, Toma knows how to read Ito like a book. Oh, it's just a special edition drink produced by Yai Publishing House and Sailing Breeze. It's really nothing special. Mm. Except that's the exact thing that they came to get. Boss! That's the one! If we take this gig, we'll get that drink! Oh, so, uh, Toma, my bro, my guy, my dude. <gasps> no, I didn't explain properly. When I said two points, that's out of a total of two. <laughs> Why? Well, he delivered that so well! <laughs> if there's one thing the Arataki gang is known for, I kid you not, it's our patience and responsibility. Liar! It's an awesome idea. Totally hardcore. Practically tailor-made just for me. <laughs> Liar! Traveler, let's do this for our duel, huh? It'll be amazing. Whoever volunteers the hardest wins. What do you think? <laughs> I love this idiot. You didn't seem too interested in it just a second ago. If you want that drink, just ask Toma. Hey, this is the mighty Arataki, above all, bold-blooded Ito you're talking to here. I'm a say what I mean, mean what I say, might sound mean, but I say it anyway kind of guy. And I say, we're gonna have this duel. <laughs> I love this man! <laughs> oh man, I 
I had a very bad week, and this dude just brightened up my day. <laughs> doesn't want people to know he's only doing it for the drinks kind of guy. <laughs> she got gotcha. you. She got gotcha. you, it, you know. <laughs> if it's decided, then allow me to take the role of your judge. Yeah. The volunteer work is simple. <laughs> you just need to give your help to people who need it during the festival. Uh-huh. I will assign some job requests that I've already received. If you're ready, we can begin. Yes, let's begin. Okay. okay. My first job is to help a busy vendor. His stand is just nearby. Okay. Are you the volunteers? Perfect timing. As you can see, there's a lot of dust and dead leaves around my stand. Okay. I've just been so busy with my customers these past few days. I keep meaning to sweep up. Can you help me clean up the place, please? Yep, yep, yep. Wind Strider. Is that it? No, it's over here. Time to go. Ito, what the? There you go. Please get in line over here. Move, people. You should not here. You're finished already. You're wonderful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see. Our next job is to help a visitor. How, dude? What's it? I'm not playing games. I'm in trouble. I heard oh. they were selling a new kind of tamari at the but I, I couldn't find it anywhere. Uh. Miss Scott, can you help me, Miss? Yep. <sighs> so basically, every time. Okay. Uh, tamari ball. He won now. <laughs> I think we were meant to lose. That's not fair. All right, talk to you. Oh, right, we're gonna, we'll still give him back his ball. Great! Ah, oh, now I can play the Tamari game again. Thanks, Miss. Okay, one last job. Oh, we have to do it anyways. We need to help move some goods at the port. Let's go. Well then. <laughs> Are you the festival volunteer? Oh, great. I was just wondering what to do about these goods. It's been really busy lately and all the workers at the port are swamped, but I have to get all this fresh soy milk delivered to the warehouse as soon as possible. Can you please help me take it to the warehouse? My co-worker Takeuchi will be waiting for you there. Thank you so much. You've now arrived at the magnificent Iridori Festival. I wonder if it was possible to actually beat Ito. You know what I mean? Ah, uh, you must be the volunteers here to save the day. You must be tired. Put down the goods and have a rest. I heard the Yashiro Commission has arranged for Sailing Breeze to prepare some special drinks for the volunteers as a way of saying thank you. Soy milk is actually one of the ingredients for the drink. It's freshly made every day. In fact, the last batch of soy milk we processed has just been sent over. You'll get to try it very soon. Yay! What? So Sailing Breeze's special drink has soy milk in it? What? Oh, Ito! Ito won't be able to drink that! Hurry! We've got to get to Sailing Breeze before he does! Uh-oh! He beat us to it, though! Time to go! Ito, wait! Enjoy the blessing of Lord <laughs> What took you so long? I've been here ages. Completed my tasks a long time ago. Must be nice. Yeah. So there you have it. When volunteering is the name of the game, no one volunteers harder than Arataki Ito. <laughs> you lose, I win. And to the victor go the special edition spoils. Yeah, but you're allergic. Behold, the drink of champions. Created by Sailing Breeze in collaboration with Yai Publishing House. And as featured in the popular work, <laughs> Pretty Please Kitsune Gucci. <laughs> you made it sound like a commercial at first, and then it just went, Pretty Please Kitsune Gucci. <laughs> All this talk's making me thirsty. 
Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Wait! Drink of champions, it's time to come home. Wait, there are beans! Oh, uh, no. Ah, woo! -hoo -hoo -hoo. That's the good stuff! That was a mighty fine drink. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> Although, maybe it was past its prime. Boss, they said they think there might be, uh, b beans in the drink. Huh? <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> a mighty figure falls to the ground. <laughs> the boss is down. The boss is down. Quick, get him to a doctor. What's wrong? Can't Tomotaki Ito drink soy products? It's soybeans! He's allergic to beans! He's allergic to beans! <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay, uh, quick, grab Ito and follow me. I'll get a doctor. I sure hope it's not too serious. He drank a big cup, dude. I'm sorry. I didn't even consider this possibility. It was all my fault. No, oh, we should have known better. Leave Ito to me. I'll make sure he stands again. Don't worry. I'll see you later. Oh, you're just gonna walk away? It's a kind of urgent here. So, your friend is allergic to beans. It's a very rare condition, though I have heard about it. I'm so sorry that our drink caused such a problem. I feel terrible. If you don't mind, please, take this. This is a special drink formula with no soy milk. Nice. I could see that your friend enjoyed this drink a lot. Although it tastes slightly different without the soy milk, I'm sure this version will be more suitable for your friend. <laughs> Please accept it, along with our sincere apologies. I will. Thank you. I don't mean to laugh at him, but like... <laughs> Dork. Man. That's why you... That, this is why you always ask for the ingredients. Before you order, okay? Before you even taste anything. 